Oh, we need two bar. Why do you think they're getting divorced? Do you think divorce is fun? I think women divorce for no reason all the time. No. The reasons they Can I tell you the reason? Like Cause cause I researched it. <laughs> You're actually a child. What do you think love is? You're just like romantically going away to Venice like every year and that's I mean, like the I... best. Like, no, a relationship requires a lot of deliberate work. Things like chores are where relationships start to break down and it'll steamroll into bigger things. The whole argument is that I think divorce is stupid over chores. I think that's stupid. When you have a house, there's a lot of chores. To, there's a lot of shit to do around the house. Yeah, you married. A lot. And she works all day bringing that paper, that stacks. And then she goes home and she still got to do some work. It's going to it's gonna take a toll. And she doesn't feel like it's separated at work. Like, uh, she, it doesn't, she doesn't feel like the, 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 the work is equally separated at home. It's going to be a burden. It's That's why, bro. The way, people, we, the way I feel like a lot of people see marriage is it's unrealistic, bro. Like, first of all, the way people see relationships is just kind of like nowadays. You want somebody who's in their early 20s, mid 20s, or whatever to be financially stable, $100,000 a year, taking care of you, your mother, himself, the kid, like you have a kid, the kid, like going on trip, doing all this, buying you, design, like, bro, it's, the standard is just becoming more and more unrealistic. And nobody is being checked, bro. Like, you think if, like, first of all, working is doing something that you already don't even like that much. For the sake of money, it's already going to bring a toll on you. That's why it's very important to find out what you want to do. In this age, in our 20s, we should not be focusing on... I feel as though we should not be focusing heavily on marriage. I feel like we should be focusing on figuring out ourselves and figuring out what we want to do so that we can be happy for the rest of our life. Because realistically, let me talk to y'all real quick. Let me get serious. More funny. You're going to be working for the rest of your life. Plain, simple, realistic answer. And it's probably... A lot of y'all probably don't even believe me. I don't think so. That's cool. Even if you find something that you love to do for the rest of your life, you're going to be working for the rest of your life at doing that one thing. For YouTubers, you're going to be being a YouTuber, streamer. You're going to be being a streamer every single day for the rest of your life. Now, you can stop. You can be probably better off financially if you're making a lot of money. But if you want to sustain these kind of things or, or, or keep these things on going, you're still going to have to get up and do things to better whatever, you, like a business or whatever, you still have to sustain these things. You still have to keep these things afloat. So in turn, what do you have to do? You still have to work. You feel me? Now, does the work minimizes? Yes, you can. You doing certain things and you pay certain people to do things and, and certain like certain things of that nature, or or your job is like, like I say, like being a YouTuber or something. Like you can minimize the work like workload, but you still have to keep these things afloat. So you're still going to be waking up early. You're still going to be making checking the the uh, uh, um the the linguistics. So, you know what I'm saying? Just just that might that might be, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, you're still going to be working. How much you're going to be working is all going to be determined on yourself. So, let's let's get that misconception out the way right there. Um now again, let's say for example, you're working a job that you don't like, but you're doing it for the money. That's going to be a very big burden after a while getting the money and just going to the job, waking up for the job that you hate or you may not like that much and you may think that you want to do something else with your life. That's going to bring a big toll on you. That's going to be a big like burden on your chest. And then now imagine you're married and then you're coming home and certain things that you signed up for marriage is, is just not there anymore. Like You know what I'm saying? Another, you feel me? So... Listen, man, it's a lot of things, bro. That's definitely gonna be a burden. Like, you work all day. You have to go home, then you have to cook. Yeah, you have to cook. Then you have to clean. Then you have to put the, the kids to bed. Then you have to do a whole things. Mm -hmm. So you're constantly life. drained. <laughs> you could do that for a whole last week, and then you won't care because you know my life now is drained. I don't got no kids. I'm just going to work, going to the gym, uh, figuring out what I want to do with my money, and trying to do this. You feel me? Make YouTube uh, reaction videos, gaming videos, and stream. This be a lot for me to imagine. A couple, but after a couple of weeks, it it's really fast for you to be drained. You figure to yourself, why am I drained all the time? Because out of 24 hours, you work 18. It's a place where I'm supposed to rest. I don't feel like I'm rested. I feel like I'm always doing the fucking job. Right. Not only I'm bringing all the money, I'm coming back home and I still gotta work. Yeah, it's gonna be a pro it's, it's gonna definitely gonna be a problem. Mm -hmm. And motherfuckers are gonna be like, you know what? I'm going to get me someone that's actually a partner. When you have a Caribbean mom or uh, that's most mom, I guess, they come back home and one thing they complain, yo, yo, you guys are ungrateful. You never helped me. 
I do everything around. That's what they talk about. If your mama sees you on your couch and you're not doing it and she cooks, she cleans, and she works, and she brings a bill, you don't bring anything in the house, she's going to feel like you're not doing anything and you're not bringing anything in the house. That's what she wants. So, yeah, I could believe that 100% chores can be like a, a big-ass burden to someone when they come back home and they want to commit div divorce. You got that right. Yeah, I think the only way you could ever think that is if you haven't ever lived with anybody and if you haven't lived with a significant other. That's the only way you could talk like that. Hell, roommates. <coughs> forget, forget a significant other. Y'all ever live with roommates and one person doesn't do they fucking shit? They don't clean after themselves. They don't pay any of the bills. They don't take any of the trash out. They don't do nothing. They just leave their shit around. Mm. No, hold up. It's not even that they don't just do anything. It's that they create more for you to mm. have to do. The motherfucker mm. left his dishes in there, wait for somebody else to do them. Mm. Yeah, and then I on top of that, I, I, I that's why I can't. If I do move out, I want to be able to move out and just take care of myself. And not really have to. It'd be obviously it's more uh, conventional to move in with a roommate, but bro. The likelihood of you moving in with, with a roommate and they on the same page as you to cook, clean, take care of what they got to take care of, the house is clean and taken care of, it's not too loud. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all on the same page, it's rarely unlikely. I got I got a couple of friends like that that I know if I moved in with them, we'd be good. But even them, they're on their own, filming their own journey, and they not even trying to move out. They're, they're good where they're at this very moment. So they trying to, you know what I'm saying? Because, bro, that is a whole nother thing. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to go get into that. Respect it if you paid yeah. something extra. I could respect it if you do the treasure stuff. You did nothing and you left me extra labor. And you pay the same amount. So you paid, you have the same amount, but you bring extra labor. It's just like. <sighs> B, if you did all this shit and on top of that, you're going to pee on the fucking. No! Pick up your piss, nigga! <laughs> Wash your pee. The fuck is this? Yeah. Then I gotta clean. You expect me to clean this shit too? Yeah, of course you're gonna be pissed off. Everybody gotta do their part. When you oh, get when you get older and you manage a household on your own, Pearl, you'll see how fucking annoying it is when you're working and then you come home and yeah. everything is fucked up and horrible and nobody's fucking cleaning anything. Yeah, yeah. that is yeah. a totally valid reason for divorce, of course. Divorce. Yeah. Chores to break up a home, Pearl, a family. Have kids. you lived in a filthy if home before? You've consist, never lived with, if a, it's with consistent. a difficult person. If it is consistent, where you're consistently yeah. having to have that burden upon yourself, you keep telling them, please, can you? A lot of these people who have these podcasts don't know what the fuck they talking about. They don't actually have the experience. Mm. So they read up on it like nerds, not knowing what the lived experience is actually like, mm. what the work is actually necessary. Mm. Verbatim, like on the internet, people react, like people saying certain things about their experience and they trying to live these vicariously through them. So to the, in their mind, is like, oh, that's nothing. No, no, living in a dirty house is crazy, but I got a story, actually. I know somebody, uh, Family friend, I don't even know why she came up with me. I don't even know. Long story short, I just, I would, if I lived in that house, bro, I would have to get far away. I would know that this wouldn't, wouldn't be my home. And it was, it was disgusting, bro. Like going to school, smelling like something, and you like, you just, it's just bad habits. Just thinking about that shit makes me sick sometimes. Like, it's just nasty, bro. It's just nasty. Like I get it. Some people can't help it, bro. Like you feel me? But at the same time, man, I feel like <clears throat> it's easy to say chores, but you ain't never have to listen. If your home is filthy, it don't feel like home. If your home is a place where you just have more work, then exactly. bitch, you on the job 24-7. So you take a shift off to get right back on and shift at home. Who wants to go home at that point, right? So it's like, yo, not having a home after a long day of work, that is, you. if you rob someone of that, that will take a toll in no time. It's not gonna take long. That's why a lot of people. Ever... That's why a lot of young people move out. A lot of y'all move out early on because y'all feel like y'all pieces is good. Y'all go go do the eight hour, twelve hour shift, or how many hour shift, random throughout the day, in the morning, after afternoon, overnight, and you come home and your pieces rob, bro. You just work twelve hours, fourteen hours. Nobody wanna go from here back to there, and it's it's no like. No peace. There's no sense of like, oh, I'm good now. Like I can relax. Nah, bro. Nobody... Have your own place, and then your mom gotta stay over for a week. How long does it take before you want your mom to get the fuck up out of your place? A little weekend, my nigga. She cleaning. She might even be cooking. But by the end of it, she's like, bro, I want my home to be a fucking home, and not my mom looking over my shoulder telling me when I'm pick up my underwear. When I want to be. 
Don't say that because that's your mom. Be respectful. That's a good but mom. you get what I, I was trying to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, on the inside, you best believe I don't yeah, say something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, when you go back it's in your only room, only disrespectful <laughs> if you say it. But <laughs> you can think it. I oh, know. And I done thought a the, whole bunch of the, you, the number of time you went to your room and you the can't next say, time. You get, yeah, you go to your room and like. like. <laughs> yeah. And then she opens your door like, what happened? Nothing. It don't take long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, don't yeah, take yeah, long yeah, for yeah, your yeah. home to not. You want them gone. Yeah. So if a significant other's coming in and creating that mess and doing all this yeah. other stuff, it's like, it's like, here's the thing. Okay, now get naked. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody gonna put their two hands out just in front of them? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, right, now you guys can open your eyes. I want you guys to be able to do the same, whether it's getting one for yourself or one for a significant other. Because if you use the link in the description below, you get 25% off. Get yourself an extra. Like this. Poop. Can you not? Like, it's so funny because, like, lifelong friends from, like, grade school and high school will dorm in college and then hate each other forever over, like, bad dorm roommates. Yeah. And that's not even a relationship. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, of course I think stuff like this is perfectly valid. I think, I think splitting, up, and, and splitting, up, splitting up duties in the household is, like, one of the most important parts of, like, a relationship. Because yeah. it's where you're spending most of the time together. This is why I say, people get triggered when I say, I don't think you're even dating until you live together. Because until you live mm -hmm. together, you don't really know what the other person's like. And once you start living together and you see what the household duties are like, then you get a feel for what the relationship is. I mean, I just, I just think that, like, I don't know, I feel like that stuff can be worked out. Chores? When you say it could be worked out, what do you think those women asked their husbands to do? Do you think their husbands didn't do the trash for a week and they said, bitch, I want a divorce? Is that what you really That's think happened? Happens, of course not. This is something that drags on over. He's just trying to nip this. He's not, under he's not really understanding the full scope of this has been an ongoing thing. And I've been telling you and telling you and telling you. It's probably been months. It's probably went into years. It's probably maybe been even a decade. And and it got it gets to a point where it's just like, all right, well, I gave you the chance. I like it's not like we didn't speak about this. It's not like I haven't continuously expressed. It just sometimes people don't realize how serious things are until you you make it serious. And divorce is one of those serious things. So it's probably been yeah, I can see that. Girl ain't been cooking, cleaning, or doing none of that shit. You know you're gonna be salty. So why don't you think she's gonna feel the same way when you make her also have to take a job? Wait, hold on. Wait, do you understand your wait, wait, hold on, wait. You're not saying anything. Like, do you do this intentionally? We're like, I don't know about that. We're telling you, I'm telling you that. I mean, that's your, there, I mean, I'm, you're giving your opinion, I'm giving I'm not mine. giving an opinion. I'm saying that in I'm, a house, this is not an opinion. This okay, is, I'm, I'm putting okay, it forward as okay, fact. Okay. In a house, delineation of chores is one of the most important things. Yeah. That if somebody's constantly destroying the bathroom, leaving clothes everywhere, leaving dirty food in the sink, they mm -hmm. can't clean their, their yeah. dishes or whatever. So it's like destroying the bathroom. What a great way to say, bro. You Yo. taking a big old shit. No, no. Yo. I'm just saying, when I think of bathroom destruction. Yeah. Okay, do you, why do you think they're getting divorced? Do you think divorce is fun? That the, Because they're college educated and they hate men. They're just like, yeah. oh, I'm just going to divorce because I, I hate all men. Like, I why mean, do you think I, they're going to get divorced? I think women divorce for no reason all the time. Okay, no. that's Shut that shit off. <laughs> yeah, yo, y'all be safe. Um, I never live with my significant other. Uh, I'm honestly know I'm gonna be in shock. I just was talking to somebody yesterday about this. I don't know what that's gonna be like. I think that's gonna be crazy. That's when you really, realistically, that's when you really find out what kind of person you're dealing with, bro. It's true. That's when they. That's when they're most vulnerable. That's when they're most comfortable when you live together. When you're in your home is when you're most vulnerable. When you're most comfortable, bro. So. You're going to find out a lot of things that you may have known or may have not have known or things that are going to shock you or things that are going to, oh, I didn't know that. Like, you feel me? And hopefully it's for the best and not for the worst because a cleaning habit and cooking like that is going to be, that's next turn. So hopefully when I do indeed get to be able to move in with a significant other, hopefully it's a great experience. And, uh, yeah. Woo! She's on, she's on a perk. <laughs> you want a perk set? That's what she's on right now. She's off a perk.